Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 104 of the Realm Recap. I am Jason from yakface.com, joined once again by FlyGuy from FlyGuy.net. Good evening, dude. We thought it was going to be a quiet week, and we said, oh, we'll just wait a week, and yep. boom, it just all exploded again. Yep. So. Saved a b- bunch of good content for us to talk about for this week. Um, we touched on some of these things a little bit, but uh, a lot of this stuff we, you know, wave two of certain waves of products like the black series and the three and three quarter inch stuff we didn't really get to touch on i think on our last show um since i think like you said we did take the week off but there was that there was some there's a bunch of leaked images that have come out over the past two weeks um what else hot toys hot news toys, fun comics <laughs> plenty go plenty to talk about so like I said, we will start things off as we usually do with the Hasbro product for this week. Um, last week's show, like I said, we touched on some of the six-inch scale stuff that's coming out for Rogue One. Uh, images had turned up online um, of the six-inch Krennic and the Scarif Stormtrooper. They started showing up. Yeah. I, I think the first site that had them up there was the Disney Store UK, for some reason, had nice crystal clear <laughs> Uh, loose yeah. shots up. I'm not sure why they felt or why they posted them, but uh, got a, our first look through through there, not through Hasbro. Yeah, I know. Isn't it bizarre? They just uh, we'll talk about this later on. But you've pulled together the most co- comprehensive list of Hasbro product, <laughs> Star Wars Rogue One product, I should say, actually including others. Why can't they do this? These are huge companies with tons of assets and resources, and it's left to people like you to scrape all this information yeah. together. So. Yeah. Well done. But uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, if you really want to know what Rogue One stuff's coming, you got to check this out because it's, uh, yeah. Otherwise, people wouldn't know. But anyway, good looking figures. I think so. Uh, I'm not sure if we touched on this before. I think the Scarif Stormtrooper is my favorite so far. Yeah. Me, other me than too. the Death Trooper. But I just like the and the, yep. and the color. Krennic's going to be real one clear, that clear look at both of those figures, so that's nice. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, Krennic's going to be one, I think, that's going to be very uh, popular in some ways for a lot of customizers. Mm-hmm. I would imagine there are plenty of Imperials that could be uh, put into that outfit with a yep. simple head swap and paint. So They look good. Yeah, the Scar Scum Stormtrooper is going to be fantastic. He looks great. Yep. Um, great. It's unclear. Well... It's hard to say anymore because, like I said, these these images t- have turned up. There are other box images that have turned up. In the most recent Star Wars mm-hmm. show that aired yesterday, uh, Wednesday, they had the That's Scarif right. Stormtrooper in the background. So are these going to be available on the 30th or are they going to show later? It's it's anybody's guess at this point. That's why <laughs> that's part of the reason why I put together the list is to give people an idea of what to either expect on that day or mm-hmm. shortly thereafter. So, yep. I hope we get it. But yeah, I don't know. It seems that they seem to be well ahead, and we've seen as we'll go on. Uh, Hasbro seem to have a lot of stock already available, even on shelves. Right. Um, yeah. And another shot here that uh, I posted as well was um, we get a good look at the C three PO and all three of the figures in in packaged form, and you see this. Uh, C-3PO resistance base is what they're calling it, obviously with the red arm. Yep. So sharp looking all around. That gold doesn't look too bad. No. I think I think I can live with that. Yeah. The whole chrome metallic thing is, yeah. For, oh, yeah, for 20 bucks, I'm cool with it. For 20 bucks, exactly. <laughs> it's all good. They look pretty good. It's nice and packaging. Yep. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, moving on to uh, this mystery six inch Cassian Andor figure. This was posted, I think, mistakenly on the Toys R or not Toys R Us, the Target website as part of their uh, banner for their go uh, for their Rogue One product section. And that's right. This this kneeling Cassie Nandor figure hasn't been revealed anywhere else other than in this image. So well, we we did. We'll share a link later on. He, he does make an appearance in the Go Rogue video. Right. Right. So we don't, but yeah, you're right. Up until that point, yeah. this we, we haven't seen it. We hadn't seen any news of this at all. So yeah, and I wasn't clear in that in that Go Rogue video if that was the um, the Disney Elite Series figure. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. What I'm thinking this figure is is part of a two pack of six inch figures that's going to be exclusive at Target. 
Yes, I would agree. It'll be packed agree. with a trooper, uh, probably. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, but yep. since since this article went up, and I just po- I think I posted this yesterday, uh, Target has pulled that image down and replaced it, and now now it's just Jin and K two S O on that header image. So, someone <sighs> someone got in trouble in their little hand slapped over leaking that <laughs> figure early maybe such such children it's with their late. Toys. I know they really are so no we'll way. see hopefully we'll know in the next you know couple weeks hopefully before force friday or sure. rogue friday whether this figure is coming out sometime in the near future yep. um another figure that was leaked most recently uh another mm. Jin urso figure this time it's part of the um, the Kmart exclusive assortment of figures. Mm. And this looks like a, I may be wrong, but I think they may have taken the ice base and repainted it brown. I, I thought so too at first, but I pulled mine out of high, uh, storage and looked and the shapes are different. So I think this cool. base cool. is unique. Nice. So, nice. and if you recall, for people that have collected these before, those bases that came with the Star Killer, uh, Kylo Ren and the Car- Star Killer Ray, those bases interlocked. So, is there another partner six-inch figure that's to accompany this one in the future as well? It's a good question. And you clarified on social that this was uh, uh, Jin's baton, right? Not a lightsaber. <laughs> Not a lightsaber. Although it does look—I mean, it really does it, look like one, does. a little hook there. So they, they could have you know, made it the open version and not the collapsed version of the baton, it would have been obviously more evident as, as to what that accessory was at first. Everyone exactly. got all up in arms. It's like, oh my gosh, she, you know, she's she's a Jedi. She's She's got a lightsaber. Another girl with a lightsaber. Nope. Yeah, all good. Good uh, to see these things. Very much so. Um, so I think regarding that figure as well, there was, these have been purchased at Kmart. Um, probably will be available on Force Friday. Price did bump up a little bit from the previous Kmart exclusives to twenty six ninety nine versus twenty four ninety nine is what they were before. So, new movie, new prices, I guess. <laughs> Until the discounted, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and those figures have been relatively easy to find if you have a Kmart yeah. anymore. I mean, most of them have now closed in the U.S., so it's an interesting retail partner for this exclusive, considering. They're all going tits up, essentially. <laughs> well, Sears, I guess. I mean, is there many Sears left? I don't know. It's kind of... Uh, Not really. I mean, maybe they're going to rely on online sales for this mm-hmm. to help shift the product. But... It was, from memory, it was a bit of a nightmare getting... Some, a lot of people had problems with this figure with uh, Kmart's online. Yep. So, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Um, talk about some 3.75-inch figures. Uh I managed to find some loose and carded shots of Wave 2. These were posted publicly online overseas, and I was able to snatch them up and share those here. Uh, post them on the on our website as well as on Facebook. So nice, nice loose shots and carded shots of of more yep. figures from Rogue One. Yeah, that's quite a, actually, we, you and I on the room get recap in the past used to really berate them for the build a thing, uh-huh. but it's a little better as a build a thing. It's a little more kind of you know like a, a Gatling gun or something. It's, yeah, just <laughs> yes, maybe yeah, it's a little more useful, but um, they, they look a little bit better in terms of their kind of use, I guess. Yeah. But um, still good looking little figures. I mean, for three point five PUA, they're they're still nicely painted, and nicely done, and right. The, the old zip lanes coming back in again. They love the zip lanes. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't know what is it, Leia? They just I don't know some sort of <laughs> aversion to likenesses. Yep. For I mean, this is obviously from the Rebels cartoon series, but sure. still, it doesn't even look like that. Well, that's a kind of interesting reader as well with his. Um, I don't know what that is. Fisting force power thing. Yeah. That's not a bad looking figure. Yeah. Looks good. Rogue One. Sharp. Yep. Cassie Nando looking good too. Another zip line thing going on. Yep. Useful accessories. 
Useful, useful accessories for once, yeah. But they're, all, they're actually all different, kind of. I mean, they're all kind of slightly different. Right. Caster looking. Right, kind of similar to what he carries in, in the movie. So mm-hmm. that's fine if it's a... It's a, if, it's, if it's a toyetic version of their on-screen weapon, I'm I'm totally fine with that. I just don't need the mm. the you know John Deere lawn tractor as the. <laughs> that's true. The Home Depot garden tools. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a very nice facial sculpt. That they've done a really good job at kind yeah. of it. Even the even the fabric there again is is uh, well done. So you know, a nice it. five pack edition. Yep. Another re-release of Ray. Uh, it's kind of a retool. It's Mishmash same retool, isn't it? yeah. same body, but a new head. Because the first one that we had that was packed with the speeder, she had her goggles down. That's right. So I like that the, the little mini speeder version right. of her speeder. Right. That's kind of interesting. But kind of fun. Whoops. Whoops! Sorry, windows blowing some toys off. Some suicide toys. Cool. That's some nice uh, five two way stuff. Yep. Not yeah, bad. Really good. Uh, what else do we have? Some also wave two of the deluxe or versus packs of of uh, three point seven five inch figures. Was able to find some images of these online as well. Uh, yeah, these look good. Yep, yeah, these are uh, kind of hero versus villain two packs. Yes. So you have a a base with yep. a stormtrooper officer. Uh, got the. Inquisitor, seventh, seventh sister, Inquisitor, and Darth Maul. Right. And uh, we also have we got there. I think that's it. Yeah, just some extra, extra loose shots that were provided. Again, an overseas yeah. site happened to have those up prior to them being officially announced. So, too bad for them. Yeah, yeah that's that's a backpack. Yeah, that's a big that's gun. A, that's, that's a big gun. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue One BFG. Yeah. Um, that's a really nice little submachine gun there, but this thing, wow, he needs a stand, man. That's gonna be Yeah, he's not gonna stand with that thing on. He's not gonna stand. You're gonna need some blue tech or hot glue or something. Right. But they do look good. The packs look good, the packaging design looks good. It's looking a little darker and better with the the, the death trooper, but I like them. They look good. Yep, these are good. Okay. Um recently uh cases yeah. of Rogue One figures have started turning up online, so we've been able to uh pass along how the first case assortment breaks out essentially all of the rogue one figures include um two figures and then the rebels figures are one each much to the dismay of sabine fans you're only getting one in this case assortment and uh, one of the canons so Mm. not terrible but i think as hard as sabine was to purchased before initially um you would think they might have wanted to step her up a little bit as far as availability goes so yeah that would have been smart but i think you you, you were having a conversation on twitter so that as well and someone's saying you know why more kylos but yeah kylo kylo sales it's yeah. uh i think when, to quote you you said you know it's not about us as in you know real kind of hardcore collectors it's it's the kitties yeah, kiddies and people who think episode uh, eight is Rogue One and you know that kind of stuff. <laughs> right. Just general public, but um, yeah, Sabine's going to be a little hard to find. But yeah, hopefully it's she's a good Mexican. I was going to say, hopefully we, we she's pack- carry forward in another case assortment. Yep. Yep. You never know. What else do we have this week? It has oh, helmets. I helmets think is next. Yeah, these were. Uh, again posted online these are part of the black series assortment of of helmets these are the small little sixth scale helmets you know like the um what the poe and the poe and the phasma that came out for the force awakens this one is also this one is part of uh, the rogue one line uh the uh, dark not dark trooper death trooper and the rebel commando Bit of a copy of that Rebel Commando helmet, but I guess yeah, it's still a helmet, I guess. So yeah. uh, it does look kind of nice. These are gathering dust uh, where I am, and I did see them gathering a lot of dust in the States when I was there as well, too. I don't know about you, but... Um, yeah, they're on clearance. Yeah, they're pretty much not shifting. So I think this might be the last few waves. I don't know, but uh, I hope not. I kind of like them. Um, there was some other ones. I had a link there. 
because you posted some older ones, I think. Yeah, there's um, a Sabine share. with uh, Rebels Vader, and there's a Finn or FN 2187 with a regular TIE pilot. Yep. I think I'm just pulling up one. Just, yep, this is the TIE pilot you had. I haven't seen the Sabine one uh, offhand. No. But, uh, yep, there's a TIE and Finn. Yep, repaints like essentially because those helmets have yeah, come they before. Are, yeah, they are. I think there's yeah, a Boba Fett and uh, Bush one as well. A bunny how to crawl Bush. Very cool. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what else do we have? We have. Um, Go Rogue oh, next. Yeah, the uh, Go Rogue. This uh, entry had here about additional six inch figures shown. Yeah, this was, uh, and again, we just discussed that some of it may be the Disney um, elite figures, but it was the, again, we can't really share it because it's YouTube and not, you can't YouTube oh, on yeah. YouTube because it'll probably be something. But ultimately, uh, it was a great little reveal at first of uh, what I think is uh, Black Series figures, but you're right, some of them could be Disney elite. Um, but yeah, just great to see them. At one point, I wondered, what is that huge vintage Stormtrooper? You can see a little tiny piece of the thumbnail here. But of course, I think that's the gentle giant one out of the package. But I suddenly thought, maybe Hasbro are making a 12-inch cheap line of vintage figures. But no, I think it's the gentle giant um, figure. If you, I'll see if I can sneak a little uh, it, play in here. It could be the Jax Pacific figure as well, because they're doing... I thought it might be the... Yeah, but uh, they call them uh, Trooper XXL, I think <laughs> yeah, they call them. TKXXL. In the video. TKX is that right? So, which I thought was very funny, but um, it didn't look like the painted version from. Yeah, you're right. It may well be the. Uh, yeah, it's probably as Jack specific. Yeah. <laughs> yep, probably is. Yeah, the screw marks. It probably is there as well. But it's great to see and spot some of the little toys in the video. The Lego in there, obviously the new Death Star. There's the Cassian we were talking about. K2SO and all the other figures, and again these guys in the background. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice little toy. Reveal it's a little good PR. We're yeah. getting some of that information out. So these videos are really good. They're very creative. Yeah, shows up the product well. They're funny too. I, you know, there's yeah, they are. <laughs> there's somewhere Chirrut. Obviously, he's blind in Rogue One. He's like looking in a completely wrong direction as he's talking to to Jin <laughs> in one of the scenes. It's very funny. <laughs> um, That's cool. Uh, Rogue. Uh, ch oh, You're collecting the, the checklist. Uh, we talked about that a little oh. bit at the beginning so we can move on past that uh there's some updates that are going to be done to that um coming up in the next few days there's some new stuff to be added and some clarification on stuff i'm i'm going to probably label some of the things that are part of wave two just to clarify in case those aren't out on on the 30th so wanted to just make sure i got the list out there first to make sure that uh just like i said yeah. to give people the initial heads up no, I agree. That's a good way to do it. Um, rogue repacks. Um, sadly, we're going to get some repacks of some shelf warmers that are currently out there for Rogue One. Um, there's going to be a repack of the uh, Ezra with his speeder bike in the Rogue One packaging. There's a uh, Ray with her speeder in the Rogue One packaging. I think these were able to be purchased for like five bucks at Walmart. Um, yeah. Now uh -huh. they're going to be back up to 12 or 15 bucks, whatever they were. Well, 24.99. Uh, the book, which uh, you and I talked about on a round recap before, uh, it was a bit vintage uh, Star Wars um, uh, TV, uh, sorry, not TV, newspaper ads. It was a, right. a Kickstarter that you and I finished just reading it the other week. And it was actually talking about how, um, how common it was for Canada then to take figures from Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back and put Return of the Jedi on them. So it's it's nothing new. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, you're right. It's kind of daft when they're really they're five bucks. Why? <laughs> but then somebody may want a new packaging. So, you know, they'll pay more. So, hey ho. Um, let's see. What did we have here? Um, 13 we just covered, or 12 we did. Um, Walmart exclusive uh, Black Series figures. Uh, Last week sometime, we had talked about the uh, the three and three quarter inch exclusives coming to Walmart. These had shown up overseas for initial pre-order at uh, Robot Kingdom 
on the 6th of September, they issued actual packaging shots on them, confirming that they are repacks from the vintage line. So it's cool we're getting all those accessories and the detail that was issued back in the in the vintage collection line with these figures, especially that uh, that Royal Guard that includes the, the mm-hmm, Crimson mm-hmm. Empire accessories. Exactly. Yeah, and it's the full lot, which we didn't know at the time, but yeah, they're definitely... Um... And it's funny, I, for a long, long time, Lando and Admiral Ackbar on the vintage uh, collection just swung on the pegs. Uh, and, you know, time just is a great thing for boosting up the value of it. So mm-hmm. let's hope these don't hang around. Yep. And we have no official word as to when uh, these will be available here in the U.S., probably around the 30th. Um, hope to get that clarified in the next couple of days. we having a little chat with Hasbro here uh, tomorrow. So... Um, uh, as far as leaked product goes, a lot of stores are receiving and reading a lot of reports of Rogue One merchandise hitting the shelves early. Um, most of these stores aren't like Target or Walmart, but like uh, Kroger's and Fred Meyer, stuff like that. And I've seen a lot of uh, mm-hmm. a lot of reports from there. Uh, Toys R Us in Australia, I think. Had, had posted some stuff as well. I think you had shared on Twitter. Yeah, uh, that's right. I said we, we skipped that there, but the um, Michael Kroll, uh, what's up, Chief? We both know him as. Mm-hmm. Um, is, he posted a couple of links there that uh, the sub stuff turning up here in stores, which again is kind of nuts when you think about it that Hasbro went to all this bother of this go rogue, <laughs> making videos, stop motion animation, you know, street dates, all this kind of stuff. And hey, look, you know, it's just available on shelves already. Right. So. Um, Yes, uh, it, a lot of this stuff is turning up, I'm sure, across the U.S. as well. I've seen a few reports. People are finding Black Series. Yeah, um, and the boxes so, are clearly marked, too. Like, if they say do not put on shelf before September 30th. Nah, doesn't matter. <laughs> well, they just they seem to care. Uh, unlike the discounts you guys get over there, and I've seen some uh, very good discounts that uh, Clarence Scott from Tulsa shared quite a few uh, mm-hmm. you know, really cheap Black Series figures. But um, for us over here, it was uh, nice to see. And again, what's up, Chief shared some stuff uh, around about the kind of 17 US dollar Black Series figures, uh, Ahsoka, uh, Kanan. I'm seeing a lot of coarse flame troopers and other stuff, which uh, 23 Australian is about 17 US bucks. So that's a pretty good price still. For, oh, if you're yeah. looking for Ahsoka, people are still paying 40 bucks for Ahsoka, uh, which I don't quite understand. But, um, but yeah, so there's some good bargains to be had. EV Games pretty much is global. So if you've got. Uh, uh, branches wherever you are in the world, probably they're doing discounts on, on Black Series as well, uh, yep. being the one company. So, so yeah. I was uh, just on Twitter right before the show, and I saw someone had picked up the Black Series <laughs> uh, six inch TIE Fighter for like $42 at Target, I think. Yeah. So, you know, originally well, 180 or whatever it was. <laughs> It's been sitting at uh, eighty bucks on Amazon for long enough, and it's just, it, yeah. The, the, there's no hope, I think, for for these toys to to be in that scale if they're just giving them. I mean, that's way below cost. Uh, yeah. So, oh well, that's the way it goes. Yes, sir. So, um, what else do we have here? Moving on to some Disney news. Um, Disney Store and Disney themselves have teased what they're calling in what a premium line of elite series. I, I'm not sure what's going to make these different from what they're already offering or. Yeah, that's a good question. Or is it just a weird wording and it's just. Um, it's not I, the name just, of the product. It's just, right. Yeah. Is it, it's not like a level above elite, you know, it's like super ultra fancy elite, you know, what, what is the, <laughs> what does the premium mean? Or is it just another <clears throat> way of talking about the same product we've been getting since the force Awakens. yeah i think it is i would say it is uh it's kind of nuts to launch another line but uh yes i, I think it is and they are i mean they're, they're high quality figures the the base and uh, and they're a little bit more expensive than black series but um but yeah we'll find out soon enough um let's see uh, another disney item here this is a an item that has been sold out for a long time the uh Star Tours Star Speeder 1000. This is a um, a vehicle that Disney Parks and Disney or uh, Star Tours used to sell a couple years back. 
it's a larger vehicle, has electronics and lights up and has phrases from me from the Star Tours ride. They've now updated it to include um, stuff where they've uh, they've added new scenes from Episode Seven to the ride itself. So they've now yep. included some of that uh, those features in this vehicle now. So it's yep. Now, yeah. It says now with tours to Jakku uh, from the film Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Very nice. Yep. That's a big pl- again please place it. Yeah, I've seen cool. never do playsets, but yeah, they do. It opens up and <clears throat> it holds like twenty figures, and it's it's a pretty wow. sizable piece. It's like a well, it's seventy five dollars now. It used to be in the fifty dollar range when it initially came out a few years back, but as with everything, prices go up. Yes, they do. Uh, moving on to Hot Toys and Sideshow and all those brands. Um, Hot Toys put up for pre-order. I'm not sure if we had shared this the last time. I know we talked about the premium format, but uh, yeah. the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Death Trooper Specialist. Very sweet looking yeah, figure. Uh, it is. Um, I think I bought a few of the Troopers, uh, and I've, I've talked to a few Hot Toys fans as well who did the same thing. Very similar to the uh, Force Awakens toys in that the, the body underneath, then that rubber suit on top, then the armor makes them very hard to move and pose mm-hmm. and um yeah just before you spend your two or three hundred bucks uh, <laughs> just watch a couple of reviews and check them out but uh, they do look amazing they do look very good indeed yeah so maybe they've tweaked since the force awakens but i think this rubbery suit underneath is still going to cause some movement issues hmm. that's a good point yeah lots of weapons lots of pouches yeah he's packing heat I love the little touch on the end of the gun, the kind of uh, heat effect. Yeah. There. Very nice dude. Very cool. So yeah, that's available right now. Yep. And then on the 30th of September, they are going to put up for pre-order another Stormtrooper. This one's called the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper. Essentially a sand trooper with a different type of backpack and different weapon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Nice to see something slightly different there. But again, same mm-hmm. stormtrooper underneath. That's got a cloth body, which is quite different. So mm-hmm. the articulation's kind of better in some ways, I would suggest. But uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, Jedi I like that look of this. Mm. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, Hot Wheels. Um, there was one I had found online a couple weeks back. There is what they're calling a partisan X-Wing and what has come to light recently from some descriptive copy for Saw Gerrera is that this is kind of Saw Gerrera's team. Mm. So I think this may be where the X-Wings come from in, you know, in the future as far as Saw Gerrera may be the source of the X-Wings for the Rebel Alliance eventually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's painted in this cool black and white deco that we've kind of seen in some spy shots for filming for Rogue One. Sure. I like the um, the stand. It's better than that. Um, the finger thing. Kind of, the finger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this little thing. The thing that you're supposed to, yeah, which doesn't even fit my big fat fingers, but um, yeah. So uh, that looks a little bit more collector like and displaying it. So that's nice. Yeah, and they've kind of rebranded these a little bit too. There's, you know, they, they're now calling them out as starships and then they have car ships and character cars. They say it right on yeah. the packaging now before it, you, it, you just kind of had to say, well, it's no, it's actually a vehicle that's in the movie. So they kind of, they've separated out into three distinct lines. Um, yep. There was another uh, Hot Wheels location cars. Yeah, these have, I don't know if you have seen these. These have started turning up in stores here just now, and um, they're really not great. No, I don't like them. <laughs> they're, they're, no, I don't like them at all. Character cars for me, I think what, what I think was the images on the backs, I thought might be really quite nice, but it, it's that very cheap. I think they're only a dollar in the US. Yep. Uh, they're about 270 here, uh, but it's, yeah, they're just, yeah, not great. Yep. So, uh, pass. And the transfers look, don't look great either. So, um, but yeah. Yeah, these are exclusive to Walmart here in the U.S. Um, 
I think there's eight different ones. There's like you know Tatooine, Dagobah, Hoth, Jakku, um, yep, Camino, Mustafar, Endor. Forgetting one. Bespin, Camino, yep. Jakku. Yep. 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 So, so it's big W store should we got one, but yeah, they're, they're yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. They're, right. they're based on existing car molds that. Hot Wheels has. There's nothing new as far as cars in it. It's just the, you know, Star Wars e paint job. Exactly. Um, there was more though. Yes, uh, character cars. Uh, there's a Gen Urso coming up. That's right. Uh, I managed to get some images, uh, some from uh, Mattel and some from Amazon, who leaked a lot of stuff with their Go Rogue page. We'll just get that to that in a second. Uh, but this Jen Erso car, uh, she <laughs> she got a lot. When I posted this, the comments flew, and there were all sorts of channels about how bored she looked and how just derp, <laughs> just like whatever. I'm going to kill you. Uh, she just uh, yeah. She's so, not even looking at what she's shooting at. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just a weird drawing, but um, so it's it's really it's the Sergeant car, Sergeant Jen Erso. But uh, it's a cool looking little car. So there's a bunch. I put a little video together of a huge bunch of them. Um, Backs and fronts, some were getting re-released, some that are new to character card. Luke from Return of the Jedi is getting his own uh, standalone card. Uh, but this two-pack, the two-packs are making a return. So I think like before, um, you'll probably not get a Death Trooper on a single card for quite some time. I'm sure they'll do it separately a wee wee down the line. Right. But we still haven't had a single carded Phasma, but I'm sure we'll get one. Yeah, um, and it allows them to repack and you know just re-include it in waves again. But uh, they look good. I mean, there's a lot of them are kind of repainted stuff, but a Death yeah. Trooper looks kind of good too. And I think as we've talked about before, there's lots of tiny little, tiny little details on Hot Wheels. Sometimes it's very easy to skip, but they really do put a lot of thought into them. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there was a, like a Jawa car that I had seen. And... That's right. Yes, Jawas. Yep. Um, that's a bunch of them. There's a, uh, a Luke Skywalker with Rancor two pack yes. that's coming. Yep. So, a yep. bunch of those. A lot of um, small images, but yeah, I pulled them together. But there's, they're, they look pretty good. And you have those posted on for on your Fly Guy page? Yeah, just, I just scooped them all up. I posted them in, but there's a video there as well. We'll put a link in the, uh, in the show notes. But um, yeah, you get a good look at them. So, uh, not much for Lego. They've pretty much think, blown their whole. Gipped one gentle giant thing, I think. Oh, they did? Um, I think we did a bit bust, just in case you had something you wanted to share with that. I'll share it on screen. If sure. It trigger. It was a wee back in the earlier section, but... Um, oh, that's right. Just oh, some yeah. of the new busts. And... Yeah, gentle giant, they had a... They were at a, a convention. I can't remember what the name of it is. It's in the description there. I can't see it. Some expo. GameStop Expo. Expo. Yep. On the... You can't really see it in what we're sharing on screen, but we'll, again, we'll have the link in the show notes. On the very top of that uh, display, you can see a Jin Urso mini bust as well yes. as a Death Trooper. So that's right. So you can the first reveal of those two pieces for Rogue One. That's a good point. I never thought of that. Yeah, you can see that there. They do look good all together. Yeah, Snow Trooper, Boba. Love the bookends as well. Yeah, it's a nice little display. Yep. So hopefully we'll get uh, some official information for for that for the thirtieth from General Giant. Um, what else do we have? Moving on to Funko. Um, this is kind of interesting. Funko has essentially spoiled <laughs> their future box. <laughs> it's it's the oddest thing, and I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Are they trying to get out ahead of the? Sp- the spoilers by revealing the two that are included in there. I mean, it's, it's common knowledge and it's, it's something they're officially sharing. So it's not really a spoiler anymore, but there's another Jin Urso figure making for five for her, for rogue one and another death trooper making three for that character. So, yep. Funko love their variants. Yep. Um, yeah, that must admit, I just I saw you post this this morning and I just thought the box isn't even due to close for another 40 hours or something. It's like, why well, spoil it? But, well, uh, it's not even this because the one that this is for November's, this is the one that's so coming is. out in three months yeah, from now. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a really weird 
I don't know. It's a weird move on their part to go far that far ahead and reveal those. Maybe they're trying to, I don't know, Get more because, because of how popular unboxing videos are, maybe they're trying to reel that in a little bit as far as, you know, make the attention more on their company versus someone else's YouTube page for an Probably. unboxing. Maybe they want to monetize it a little bit. So... Yeah, uh, look, again, it's it's a big movie, so I guess there's maybe a, a reveal there. But I mean, they also kind of really blatantly gave away the one that's closing and or is closed yeah. now. Yep. I won't spoil it for those that haven't seen it, but I mean, it's kind of obvious from the silhouette. It was... Yeah, and they showed so, one of them on several episodes yeah. of the Star Wars show. It's like, it's like right there, so... Not sure. Maybe they just don't... Maybe they just want to um, give people earlier incentive to buy the box like they don't want probably for people that are on the fence oh you know they'll just wait until it's revealed to decide whether or not in order to subscribe or you know buy boxes one at a time whatever their method is it's it's kind of crazy it's uh yeah i mean the, the whole it's, it's a u.s box only i don't even think it ships to canada uh so um right it's nuts. It's whereas Marvel ships globally. It's it's very strange if they want to boost sales. Well, maybe sales other places, but um, <laughs> look, they, they look good pops anyway. Uh, I'm sure yep. you'll be adding them to your subscriber anyway. So uh, yes, they look nice. Um, more pop news. Uh, Hot Topic did the Periscope video last week or earlier this week, and they announced that the Ahsoka is coming out here in the next few days. So that's going to be a very popular one. Nice. That's exclusive to Hot Topic. Yeah. We know Cody needs a thousand. So <laughs> yeah. everybody back off. <laughs> um, and they also like announced it. that two weeks after, essentially, after the Rogue One product launch, the Rebels figures are going to drop for their pop line. So like within a matter of, like I said, two weeks, there's, there's essentially 20 pops for rogue one and then another eight to ten for for rebels so jesus yeah raid that credit card people you're killing me smalls. <laughs> yes you're on yes you are um, some new shirts have started new funko pop shirts have started showing up at target as exclusives one there's a bunch of uh, uh, t-shirts i'm sure you know but uh, for those that don't uh, funko is about to lo uh, launch wave two of their to e-tailers and retailers uh not, not retailers actually e-tailers uh all their kind of um t-shirts and there's like 40 of them or something They're crazy i mean tons of star wars ones but this is a, a target exclusive um there's been a ton of great t-shirts turning up at stores not necessarily not necessarily all star wars but there's been quite a few GameStop and a cool Deadpool and a unicorn and Target has this one and they had, uh, I think there's another Star Wars t-shirt that's exclusive out there right now, but uh, I don't know. So if you yep. know, leave a comment, let us know. Yep. I just saw this oh, one sorry. the other day too. So I like this one a lot. It's got that, well, nice. that on there. I know. It looks like the kind of uh, uh, almost the prototype fit there in some ways because right. of the coloring. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, moving on to some custom news here a little bit. I saw this posted over on the RPF, the, or yeah, replica prop forum. It's someone has gone ahead and built their own cosplay costume for the Scarif, uh, stormtrooper. And it is amazingly good. <laughs> I don't know if you got a chance to see this yet. I have not. No. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Look at all the, Jeez. Yeah. It is in nice. amazingly well done. Dang. All you know, created out of fiberglass and I know. The talent of fans sometimes just is so overwhelmingly better than sometimes than some manufacturers. And working from just... reference photos, it, I mean, this is yeah. not someone that works for Lucasfilm or has the product in hand. This is someone who built his own based off of detailed photographs. Yep, yep. It's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I, I want one. So well done. It's a, it's just very bizarre colors that somehow go together. Yeah. 
very bone ivory trooper colors. Yeah. We'll post a, like I said, nice. we'll post a link to this page in the show notes and you have to start from the beginning of the thread because it shows him sure. sculpting the helmet, you know, raw essentially. And it's just a, a documented, a well-documented build from the ground up for, for the Scarif Stormtrooper. Nice. Um, what else? Uh, moving on to some TV, movie, book, and game news. Um, there were some new clips shown recently for Star Wars Rebels on the Star Wars YouTube channel. Again, we probably won't share those, but uh, just to give people a heads up there, there's two or three new ones. There was a new one that just came out today showing um, some interaction between Kanan and a character called Bendu, voiced by uh, one of the original Doctor Who actors. Nice. Very cool. Um, mm. There's they announced yesterday on the Star Wars show uh, two soundtracks that are going to be available digitally uh, for download uh, with purchase. Uh, seasons one and two of Rebels, twenty eight tracks for season one and thirty three tracks for uh, season two. The uh, season one is going to be available tomorrow, September sixteenth. And the second season will be available on the thirtieth. So, lots of good, lots of good soundtracks and songs and music that are in Rebels. So, I think people like that for refer reference material and people who collect obviously soundtracks for Star Wars. Soundtracks too. Yep, of course. Uh, of course. What else? Uh, there was a big iPhone update this week. Uh, they released uh, not only new product, which comes out tomorrow. Um, but uh, the new operating system and they have released these Star Wars stickers. I don't know if you've seen them yet. I've been using them. I purchased the, the damn thing um, today. Nothing says nothing says uh, how much they love customers when they launch it on only one platform, but uh, that's, yeah. that's the way that it works. Like, I mean, again, I think the fact, obviously, Disney has massive shares in Apple. Uh, it, of yeah. course, they're going to launch this on, on the App Store, first of all. So, Yes, a few interesting comments down the bottom. They're, they're great looking little stickers, but there's just like 110 comments are basically saying, where's the bloody Android version? So, and I think one person says, where's the Windows version? It was like, good luck with that one. <laughs> but um, and yeah, someone's going to be, a lot of people are going to be, uh, is this, was it free or was it? Cost? No, it was $2.99 or $1.99, $1.99 for, okay. Okay. for these stickers. They're going to sell bucket loads. They're going to sell bucket loads. Yep. So yeah, they're kind of cool. We've seen this uh, used on Twitter for the launch of Force Awakens. It was all the mm -hmm. pictures of the different little avatars and emoticons. So yeah, you get plenty to choose from now. BB-8 thumbs up and all sorts of cool stuff. Sweaty fin. Ones. Sweaty fin, yes. Um, what else? Uh, the Coming with the Hasbro product we talked about at the beginning, um, a lot of the products have... Uh, codes that I believe you could download or scan using this new app that is going to be available. Um, it's called the Star Wars Studio FX app, where you can add studio quality uh, special effects to some of your videos that you film of your toys, like explosions and I, I assume flying you know, vehicles and whatnot. So yep, there's a whole write-up over on uh, Mashable.com with you know screenshots and some first impressions of the of the interactivity that's been uh, apparently developed by Hasbro for this release. Hmm. I think it'll be fun. And again, it's probably not aimed at us. It's aimed at the, right. uh, the younger audience and um, but it could be great fun. So yeah, I mean, imagine if our seven year old selves have got our vintage figures and this, yeah. so uh, yeah, uh, it's easy to dismiss, but uh, it, it's pretty, uh, Pretty cool to get that, and it's a nice way to add some value to the toys. Right. Yeah, I think this is available on multiple platforms, so it's not just iOS. Yes. So, yeah, there's the bonus there. Um, what else? You had a couple additional. This notes is here. Uh, yeah, just um, a couple. Probably not in the right order, but um, this. Uh, is out the the, the year by year visual history oh. the update. I actually had a look at this the other day. There's quite a bit of considerable uh, stuff added to the back of the, the book. Hmm. Um, it's a kind of interesting read. I don't know if you ever picked up the, the first one. I've still got it here. Yes. But, um, it was actually kind of cool. It was a, a really lots of tidbits about 
history around those years and when the movies came out and stuff. But they've added some nice stuff to it, and uh, the cover looks very impressive. It's got a nice, strong kind of cover. But yeah, it's out already. So just another thing to, to buy if you want to buy some Star Wars books. Excellent. And comics was the, the I think, the last thing on this list here. Did yeah. We? Yes. Um, so John Tyler Christopher, huge fan of his work, and uh, literally, good God, if the guys made it, I've probably got it, but um, <laughs> didn't realize his general tag uh, exclusive is through a store, which I've never heard of before, called Most Good Hobby. Huh. It's very Southern, y'all. I don't you have in this place? No. No, neither have I. I hadn't seen this so, one yet. Yeah, they do ship worldwide. Uh, you're looking at 20 bucks for this, ah. unfortunately. A bit of a sting for a comic book uh, with a very good cover. But just to let's, you know, let's make sure we milk that cow and have a black and white version too at $29.95. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. So 1,500 copies for the black and white. Oh, God. And uh, yes, uh, this one is 3,000 copies for general tag. So, um, eh, I don't know. It's maybe the end of my collecting of these action figure covers. <laughs> this is this is the last issue for the Vader run, isn't it? Isn't twenty five yeah, the cutoff? Twenty five, I think, is the last. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, I you know, I know. Apparently, Black and White one selling it more. Uh, as someone let me know on Twitter. Thank you, dude. Forget your name for a second, but yes. Yeah. So, well, there it is. If you wanted to pick it up, uh, it's uh, we've got links in the. Show notes because trying to find this on their site was kind of hell. So um, again, thanks again to the Twitter uh, follower and watcher of the Rain Recap for sending that to us. Excellent. Um, that brings us to some reviews and our new purchases for the week or our past couple of weeks. Um, you had a bunch of reviews posted recently. I've been watching those. Yeah, a lot of Marvel, yeah. Marvel Legends, Marvel Select. Um, one thing I did review, which is kind of applicable for Star Wars, I guess, is the NECA action figure stance. This was get Falcon, the Marvel Legends Falcon, out, but great for Boba, mm -hmm. uh, Django, any other characters that fly through the air. I can't think of, but um, it's just a great stance. It's a kind of good one. They're about ten bucks. Nice. So it's not cheap, but if you've got one figure that you really want to get in a really dynamic pose, such as the Falcon, it kind of works. It's probably the best one I've seen in a long time uh, that works in that way for display purposes. That Falcon. But um, just, yeah, he's good. He's it's good. Great figure. It's a good figure. But um, lacking a lot of paint and a lot of other bits, but uh, they've done a decent job. And finally, just gave the San Diego Comic-Con um, Hasbro uh, Obi-Wan just a, a good thought out review and rins. And I'm so impressed with the facial sculpt. It actually... Yep. They did a really good job on it. And I really didn't think they were going to when we saw the old boy CTTS, which I know is just as good uh, or mm -hmm. better in some way. But for a standard 2199 figure, which we're getting in the in the Black Seas coming up very soon, it's it's a good looking figure. Yeah. Very it, good. You mentioned that figure, mm -hmm. the, the Obi-Wan. That uh, went up for sale again today on uh, yes. Hasbro Toy Shop. We didn't cover that at the beginning. Um, Jin was up there for a nanosecond. Um, which is odd considering, but again, it's the exclusive one from San Diego Comic-Con packaging. Mm -hmm. um, Kylo Ren was up there again as well. Um, but yeah, I was able to scra uh, snag a, uh, another of the Obi-Wan. So cool. Squirreled that one away. Was able a good to package. get through there. Nice. So, yep. Well, good. What about you? Anything reviewed or no? Well, you've been doing the Rogue One checklist, I guess. So that's been good. Yeah, I've been <laughs> trying to assemble that and get that ready for job. publication. Um, purchases this week, I have, I was able to score on a, for a relatively good deal um, the Wave 1 of the Black Series uh, Rogue One line. So I haven't received them yet, but they're in route. So I'll be doing... Uh, toy guide updates for those items and i also received this past week the um r2b00 the halloween themed astromech from disney parks cool kind of bad glare there but well, it works. not bad so i i'm a sucker for those carded astromechs that they keep issuing i don't know why but they look good they look good um what you you also had a, a rogue one acquisition week didn't you i did i bought the the same as you the, the wave one 
I've actually got a wee, an order in from Wave Two as well somewhere. Uh, but then it's it's slightly different uh, for you guys. It's in the US. It's a kind of different rule over here. I think in some ways nobody really cares. <laughs> um, so yes, Wave Two with Krennic and those guys and other stuff that we've talked about. So fingers crossed to arrive soon. I'm hearing good reports that the figures are well made, well in advance, all actually shipped to uh, Dorsey Toys. Posted a photo uh, of the fact that they've got the stock sitting there, yep. but they're not allowed to sell it. Which is so ironic when some Walmarts have been selling it, but they're still not allowed to sell it. So, never mind. Right. Um, what I did by this week, and uh, I hereby apologize to everyone when I call them shampoo bottles. And if I laughed at you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I bought this, the Phasma uh, shampoo bottle, and uh, she's actually really great. I was so disappointed by the Hot Toys version, um, just not for me at all. This was 10 bucks in a Kmart here, probably about seven us dollars right um apparently she's going for a lot of money this figure in some places in the states but um it was a toys r us exclusive i think yeah yeah um but it's a surprisingly good figure so i'm going to do some uh, terrible crap custom job on it so i'll post some photographs in a video or something and we'll, we'll show you how crap i am <laughs> but how much better you can make this figure but just out of the box it's actually not that bad it at looks, all yeah, uh, it looks decent. That one post. it really does um so didn't cost 300 bucks so that's a bonus that's a bonus save you some rogue one money mm. <laughs> so with that we will wrap up this week's show I'd like to thank everyone for watching and sharing and commenting and asking us about when our next shows are going to be available we appreciate that um so until next time where can we find you sir uh, funnily enough, on a website called flyguy.net and occasionally on uh, this show with you and uh, on, um, sorry, occasionally on the First Order Transmissions with you and uh, on, on the Realm Recap here. Excellent. You? Um, you can find me at yakface.com, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, here on the Realm Recap, uh, First Order Transmissions, and on the Cargo Hold, the show oh. we do over on the Making Star Wars, uh, net channel. And you're also on Google Play Podcasts, I noticed, the other day as well. So now I'll be consuming the show when I'm traveling. Excellent. Need those need those views and listens. <laughs> All right, everyone. And like I said, thank you for watching. And we will be back uh, maybe next week, maybe the week after. We'll see. Depends on the news. Hopefully, uh, we'll have some good stuff to reveal in the next uh, couple days after we uh, yeah. talk to Hasbro this week. So uh, until next time, we'll see you all again. See ya.